Hey there! Thanks for watching with Wendy. This tutorial will show you how to turn a pair of flare or bootcut jeans into skinny jeans. You just need your jeans, a sewing machine, an iron, and it would be best if you also had jean thread. Jean thread is a little bit thicker than regular thread. Because it's thicker, it'll be able to stand up to the wear and tear of your jeans. And if you find one that matches your current jean thread really well, it'll look like as if your jeans were store-bought. In terms of time, you just need around 30 minutes to one hour. It all depends on how many alterations you have to make in order to have the jeans fit you just right. If you like this tutorial, subscribe to see more. Feel free to rate, comment, favorite, or share. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye! Choose the edge of the jeans that you want to modify. Lay down the jeans flat and use pins to make sure nothing shifts while you're tracing and cutting. If you have a pair of skinny jeans already, lay it on top and make sure the crotch is lined up, then trace around the skinny jeans. If you don't have a pair of skinny jeans, it's totally okay to make a rough guess because we're going to be doing adjustments anyway. Set your sewing machine to the longest possible stitch length. The new shape will usually be starting at the knee and you can just sew from there down to the base of the pant. We're using the longest stitch because this is just a rough. If it ends up being too tight or too loose, it'll be easy to rip apart using a seam ripper. Here's where you have to try on the jeans to make sure they're not too tight or too loose. Once you know for sure that you're happy with the fit, you're going to cut off the bottom of the jeans, leaving about one centimeter away from the jean thread. With the jean leg, Give it any extra snips that are needed to make sure the bottom of it is completely flat. Go over the side seam with a much shorter stitch and cut off the excess fabric. Or you can use a serger which will seal off the edge and cut off the fabric at the same time. At this point our cuffs are way too wide for our new skinny jeans so we need to cut them down. First, mark out where the current seam is on both sides of the cuff. Once it's marked, use a seam ripper to rip apart the rough seam. Rip apart the jean thread about one inch on the outside of both markings and everything that's in between those two. Fold up the cuff so that the two markings line up again and put a pin through the bottom of the cuff. Make sure that the bottom two edges line up really good so that when the cuff is complete we don't have some kind of mismatch. Put a few more pins through the cuff going up away from the base of the cuff. Then remove the bottom pin and unfold the entire cuff so that we're able to pin it together from top to bottom of the fabric. So a straight line starting at the top with the markings and all the way to the other end of the fabric, following the pins. Cut off the excess fabric and fold the cuff back up. When you're folding it back up, make sure that the raw edges of the seam are opened so that there's as little lumps as possible. Use pins to keep the folded cuff in place and then sew it down using the jean thread. I know here I did not use jean thread, it's because I had run out, but I wanted to finish the tutorial for you guys. To finish off the cuff, make sure that the entire thing is flat along the top and you're ready to attach it to the jeans. For the last step, make sure you check out my hemming jeans tutorial. I separated the two because some people are only interested in hemming jeans. Hope it goes well for you. Bye!